Ellen was no different from all the other middle-aged housewives dwelling in the great city's squalid Whitechapel district. This night, she and her husband, Robert Bunting, sat before their fireplace reading the newspaper account of the latest murder. Look, it says here that this girl he got last night was like all the others. Hmm. Pretty, blonde, and, uh, let's see, described by her friends as a very light-hearted girl. What a pity. Did you ever stop to think who fits that to a T? In fact, fits all those girls? Why? Why, my own Daisy. What are we going to do? Tell me that. We'll get along, dear. Something will turn up. Oh, we haven't had a lodger for months. It's just that I, I've been so worried. Well, don't you go worrying another second, old girl. Why, first thing you know, you won't be pretty anymore. You'll have your face all wrinkled. Now, and you'll... see now, here, Now, come buddy. on, now, let's see a smile. Come on, just have one oh, smile. Oh, leave me Just alone. one I smile like you used to, eh? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, who do you suppose that could be? Oh, for late for visitors, I... Oh, I'm coming. Oh, I do hope it's... <clears throat> yes, sir? Is it not true that you let lodgings? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, won't you come in, sir? Thank you. Now, I am um, looking for a quiet room. It must be quiet. You see, I do a great deal of studying in my book here. The Holy Bible. Let me help with your luggage. No, don't I... touch it. It would be so good as to show me the room, please. Oh, yes, yes, sir. It's right up these stairs, sir. Uh, this way. This way. This way. 